Properly identifying an animal rescued last week in western Pennsylvania is no small task for experts. No one has figured out what kind of animal this furry guy is. The Wildlife Rehab Center is doing a DNA test to determine whether it's a dog or a coyote, but while they were waiting for the results, the four-legged animal escaped. Joining me now is the woman who discovered the animal outside of her home last week, Christina Eith. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, what is your reaction, first of all, to find out that he's gone. I assume it's a he, right? Yes. Um, well, I got the call first thing in the morning whenever Morgan had found out. And um, of course, we were all devastated to find out that he had escaped. So we were all in a panic mode, um, trying to figure out how we can find him, um, relocate him so he could finish up his treatment. So we were all devastated to find out that he had escaped. Did you, are you an animal lover? Did you bond with him right when you, when you found him, even if he's a wild animal? I did. I had, uh, my heart is uh, out there for the animals and I'm an animal lover. So of course, any animal in need, I would love to be able to help. So. And you found him outside shivering, scared with mange. Tell me about what, what he was like when you found him. And then if you saw him kind of, uh, once he started treatment, get a little bit better. So when I first saw him, I just saw a scared, helpless animal who was shivering and just wanted someone to help and was begging for someone to help him. Uh, whenever he started his treatment and everything, he never showed signs of stress or aggression or anything and seemed to be in um, doing a little bit better, getting a little bit of hair, um, not as much as we would have liked before he escaped. but. Aw, well, did, I, I'm sure you've been really invested in him and his treatment and his story. And imagine, like everyone else in the country, you're waiting to find out uh, what he was and to see him get healthy and better. Absolutely, yes. Um, and we're still waiting for the results, so we still are unsure, but um, we're hoping to get the results soon. And in the meantime, hoping that maybe he will come back to finish up his treatment and um, be able to be a lot healthier. Yeah, maybe, I mean, if he is a dog, dogs do come back. Uh, we don't know what he is, but hopefully he, he will come back. Do you have a name for him? I call him Chance uh, because uh, he had a second chance at life. Aw. Well, he, it's cold there. He clearly isn't well. He started the treatment, but hasn't finished it. You must be worried. I am. Um, I have two dogs and a cat and I have three boys. So we're all invested in the story as well as my husband. So we're really hoping and praying that he makes it back or someone can find him so that way he can finish up his treatment and get that fur back. All right. Well, we hope to check in with you again the next time uh, after you've rescued him again, potentially. Christina, I yep. thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.